key element in combating and stemming the spread of COVID-19 is in that contact tracing. And we've been really paying a lot of attention to that. And since then, a significant number of the contacts were traced. And those who have exceeded the incubation period, even though normally medically they say 14 days, at times we try to extend our own to 21 days. And those who have exceeded the incubation period, uh, they've all been discharged. And um, based on the last positive cases that we had, we embarked on careful contact tracing and follow up in the past one week. And I can conveniently say there's a significant achievement, but we're moving towards 100%. And I want to use this opportunity to appreciate our medical experts, the team of doctors, paramedics, and all those who are helping seriously in combating the spread of COVID-19 in the state. I also want to use this opportunity to thank the Commissioner for Health, the Chairman of COVID-19, the Secretary of the State Government, all those who are working in one way or the other, including the press. Every single person has a role to play in this whole matter. Even those who are creating the awareness, those who are going around villages, local government chairmen, those who are even helping the border, the security agencies, even those I'm unable to mention all now, but they've played a major role. It's an interesting moment, interesting time. No single human being has a solution. That's why at times you hear a lot of confusion across the globe. At times when you see leaders speaking, or when you're watching in especially the electronic medium, you hear some leaders speaking. Don't blame them, because everybody is just trying to see pure passion and empathy and looking at how to save the lives of citizens. That's why you hear leaders talk like that. People suggesting all kinds of means and all kinds of medications, all kinds of treatment. But this is where I give a lot of kudos to our medical experts that we've assembled here. We've been quite steady. I want to update you that laboratory tests conducted on 44 suspected cases in the last one week showed a total of three new confirmed cases and one death patient. One woman died, one patient, and I won't call it elderly, 68-year-old woman with multiple serious long-standing comorbidities who was transferred totally unconscious to us. And then we battled after a few hours, she gave up. She came to us totally unconscious. And she has, or she had, let me say so, she had serious, long, outstanding comorbidities. And I think I want to use this opportunity to also appeal to doctors, please, whether it's COVID-19 or not, once you know the case is beyond what your clinic can carry, seek the help of your colleagues. Nobody knows it all. I will. I keep repeating. We will not accept cases of dumping any longer. A situation where you bring a patient at total unconsciousness, and few hours later, the patient will just give up the ghost. We, we won't accept that. It might also interest you to know that we have had a whole lot of remarkable success in terms of treating minor symptoms. We don't wait. Once you exhibit any minor symptom under the current dispensation, our medical experts move in. And we've had very tremendous success in terms of, you know, treatment of those minor symptoms and then discharge of these people. Our recovery rate is remarkable. And um, even those who've discharged uh, are equally quite remarkable based on the total number that we have. And uh, we are still hoping and praying God that by his mercies, this is totally that only God himself can help the entire world, not just, Ni not just Nigeria, not just Okwaibom State, because we cannot uh, exist in isolation. 
Uh, but let me also use this opportunity to reassure all citizens of Accra of State of our determination to continue to provide you with excellent medical services, excellent health care, and encourage you to seek proper medical treatment quickly, especially now that the research work on new treatment methods have brought great hope. There are, there are hopes and uh, some of these things might sound so simple, but our medical experts are still looking at it. I think recently, uh, I've also been reading and been following up, I think a group of experts, I uh, saw so, I think in the Western world, came up with the uh, anticoagulants in addition to hydrochloroquine that they are saying, erythromycin, some say once you add the anticoagulants with um, aspirin, and administer times with some antiretroviral. Medical experts know what to do. I'm not a medical expert, but what I'm trying to say here, this gives a whole lot of hope that some of these common medications you can find across the counter might not even be far-fetched from actually helping to combat the spread of this. So I think our medical experts are liaising with other uh, medical scientists to see the best way. But so far, I must give them thumbs up that whatsoever medical care they are giving, it has worked tremendously well. And let uh, people also know that this thing is not a death sentence. It is even better once you identify any symptom. Please call us and let us know and let us see how we can help you. We constantly also stress the necessity of following all preventive measures. Please, all the preventative measures Please follow them. We constantly stress that from time to time. There's a necessity, I repeat, all the preventative measures. Let people follow it, please, at this time. I, I think that will really help us. And if you see anybody near you who is not wearing a face mask, don't allow the person to come near you at all. Uh, so far, I want to thank all of you. And I believe this will go a long way to help. And please drive the message of hope to our people that it should be faith and not fear, that there is hope. A whole lot of medical uh, solutions are being devised and they are working very well. So let nobody go home and hide and keep quiet and complicate issues and then we come to know when it is extremely late. It's something that God is helping and it's something that will come out of